This wild horse patiently waited to thank his rescuer in the most heartwarming way. Many times in our lives, we do things that make us feel proud. This is the story of one such moment that occurred. Who knew it would not be forgotten, as it will become once-in-a-lifetime moment for the poor creature who was morally obliged to thank his Savior? The reason why this story has touched hearts across the world is that many people might have passed by, but no one bothered to help. Heroes aren't aliens, they're just like us. What makes them different is their willingness to make efforts and take the risk for the right thing. That's what our today's story is all about. This incident took place in Romania, a European country known for its beautiful historic cities, amazing natural beauty, and cultural diversity. Tourists have been saying that Romania takes one a little bit back in time. The country people are still fond of horses as they are part of their daily life. When talking about horses, there is a 150-year-old festival that includes a parade of 1800s costumes, horse-drawn carriages, traditional food, music, and special performances. But what was seen and recorded in a video one fine day was nothing but an eye-opener. We are talking about horses here for two main reasons. First, horses are a specialty in Romania. Second, our story today is about a horse. Trust us when we tell you that he is no ordinary animal, as you'll say it too when you see the video ahead. He certainly did the most unexpected thing in the most emotional time. Horses can be a man's best friend, you just need to treat them nice as they'll happily devote their lifetime helping you and loving you. Horses are dignified creatures. They're known for their loyalty and have been close to humans since their very existence. An unfortunate horse was in immense pain. Animals are mistreated everywhere around the world. Yes, we love our pets, but very few take out time to save the rest. This beautiful black-colored one, such horse. And there's a reason why he was in this pain, which is nothing new in Romania. The poor young horse's front feet were chained. He was hardly able to walk. This practice of tying up horses' front or hind feet is very usual in many countries, including Romania. The horse suffers from pain and could possibly die, as when he'll try to cross any fence, he might trip and fall. After that, you can imagine that a tied-up horse will not be able to stand back on his feet and will die in the same spot. Such was this horse's fate, until his guardian angel came to the rescue. No matter how strong and brave any creature is, they fall prey to humans anyway. Just like this horse who was tied by some hunter so he couldn't go far off and could be hunted down whenever needed. A guy named Ovidio Rosu saw this horse from a distance and immediately understood that something was wrong with this horse. He knew he was supposed to hurry, but what he never knew was the horse's reaction to it. While many people respect horses as an animal whose ancestors have been helping humans to cover long distances and fight uncountable wars, they're still tied up for just sports purposes. When Ovidio saw this young horse, he knew he has to do something to free the guy. He was so determined to help that the risk of being hurt by the horse didn't seem like an issue to him. Horses may act aggressively when any person would walk close to him. At the end of the day, this horse was scared of humans who tied him up. In such case, the possibility of him not allowing any human to get close to him was almost nil. After all, he was not aware who intended to help him and who intended to kill him. Luckily, the horse was in luck that day as Ovidio wasn't scared of getting hurt by this horse's reflex action. The horse wasn't even alone, and this increased the risk. Horses are very calm animals. Normally, they don't bother anyone unless they're scared or trapped. This one was trapped. Yet, chances were that the horse will politely let Ovidio do his work and get free. But there wasn't any surety, and Ovidio was getting into this without sedating the wild horse. Ovidio was a vet who works for an organization named Four Paws that helps animals across the globe. Hence, the guy knew what he was doing, and what he was getting his feet into wasn't an easy task at all. In the country where horses are trapped for hunting sports, this surely wasn't Ovidio's first time that he was saving a life. He did it many times before. Why not? Eagles, birds, monkeys, horses, tigers, and more. He works day and night for saving these wild lives. However, what was about to happen with this horse was a once-in-a-lifetime moment for the young vet. Ovidio was certainly going to go ahead to help this horse. But he needed to plan it ahead of time. Like, what if the horse hurts him? Well, he kept it in the last of his list as he didn't really care about that part. 
What if this horse's ability to move is already compromised? How to keep the horse not moving? How to get him free without any further pain? How to make sure that he hasn't developed any serious wounds? And lastly, how to let him go easily? A video was getting closer to the horse from the rear end. He reached and stopped. The horse was trying to walk but was falling every time. He was jumping a bit to move forward. The chains that he was trapped in were made of iron, which was definitely hurting him a lot. It was time to get a hold of the wild horse to, first of all, get an idea of what the situation with his paws. A video's gut feeling proved to be correct and neither did the trapped horse nor his friends try to attack him. We can't really say what it was that kept the young horse calm when a stranger was walking towards him, when in the first go it was one such human who chained him. Can animals sense good vibes? As he seemed to be trusting Ovidio in the first place as if he felt that the guy was there to help. Whatever happened in those moments was more than ordinary. Ovidio, the local vet, made it quick and he didn't want to alarm the animals of any kind of danger. He had a red-colored piece of cloth with him and he had to put on the young horse's eyes in order to keep him still. This is the first thing a person should do when trying to save a wild animal, as they don't move when it's dark all of a sudden. Trying to help a wild animal, whether it's a bird, fish, or horse, this trick is generally used when they're not sedated. After covering up the horse's face with a red cloth, Ovidio was now supposed to check on the wounds of the horse's feet. He couldn't just go and straightly cut off the chains as his feet might get septic spread through the body. He checked on him and the chains were tightly wrapped around his paws. There were just two viewers of all that was going on. At first, when Ovidio got his eyes on the beautiful creature, there were two more horses with him, and there was a friend of Ovidio too. One of the horses was standing right there next to his friend to check on what's going on with him. He wasn't scared. On the other side, it was Ovidio's friend who was capturing this moment on video camera. What happened next was unbelievable. While the chained horse was laying down patiently, the other one was watching it standing nearby. Ovidio examined the wounds of the poor horse. The bondage was so tight that it started cutting off his flesh and it was now getting to the bone. Yes, the main aim to keep the horse from running far away was a success. But how cruel was it that the horse couldn't even move without the pain? And if the chains stayed on his feet any longer, he might not ever walk again. Ovidio is a professional veterinarian who knew what exactly is to be done. He brought the thing that could loosen up the chains. Because of the cuts and bruises, the horse's flesh could be seen at this point and he needed proper medication too. Though animals have this thing in them that they recover faster when they're happy, and obviously once the horse will be free, he'll be happy, but the required thing was yet to be done. The vet was being quick here as he didn't want this wound to leave a permanent damage. When the ankles are tightly, it also stops the regular blood flow. The vet was ready with his wire cutters and started working on freeing the horse. Well, there was one thing to be alert from. That's the horse's reaction when he's free. Out of the excitement, and then once the cloth is removed from his eyes, he might act which may hurt Ovidio too. The vet started using the wire cutters in such a way that it should not hurt the horse's wounds anymore. The chains were thick and in the video it might seem like an easy task that Ovidio does, but it wasn't and he didn't want the horse to suffer any more pain and hence he was being very precise with moving his hands in the right way. Within some time, Ovidio managed to take off the chains. After cutting off the chains, he noticed something that was the reason that they were causing so much pain in the horse. As if the chains weren't enough, the next thing that the vet noticed was horribly disturbing to the young horse. The vet noticed that the horse was chained for days. He slowly started loosening the chains from his hoofs. The horse was breathing heavily and was getting less patient now, and it was hurting him badly. For a moment, anyone would have thought to step back and get away from the horse, but Ovidio kept doing his work. It was a messed up situation. Ovidio managed to snip off most of the chain. The horse was growing impatient now. It was time to remove the chains completely and get his paws the proper medication. However, the horse doesn't seem to be in a good mood. He wore his gloves and after cutting the chains, he removed the wiry mess from the mid of his paws. The horse was moving at first, but when the chains started getting off the horse, stayed still, he wasn't moving at all, which made Ovidio's work a lot easier. After removing the sharp bonds from his hoof, it was time to get the young guy moving. The same injuries were on his other hoof, so Ovidio patiently started working on the other hoof as well, where the sharp wires were deep inside his skin. The horse was in pain, but he stayed still and calm without causing any disturbance to the vet who was working with his favor. 
as if the animal now started trusting the vet whom he just met and who was trying to help him out. The chains were almost off from the vet now. The animal was almost free. He could walk, just wouldn't be able to run as some parts of the wires were tightly wrapped. In order to remove the complete wires, a video needed some more time, and the horse was allowing him to take as much time as he wanted. This was a very unusual thing to see because usually animals get scared and don't trust people easily when they're wounded. Ovidio took his time to be sure that there was not even a little bit of wires left around the horse's hoof. He didn't want the horse to suffer anymore, and at last, both their patients paid off. The horse took a deep breath when he felt he was finally free. Ideally, just one last thing was left to be done, but an additional action took place which made everyone out there emotional. Ovidio removed the cloth from the horse's face and helped him to stand back on his feet to check if he'll be able to walk properly. The horse was polite as he stood straight, but he didn't run into the jungle. As he stopped there for a while, he did the most rewarding thing for Ovidio, who just saved his life. Ovidio was overwhelmed seeing the animal back on his feet, and that's when the horse did the unexpected. Walking towards Ovidio, he came close to him and gave him a kiss before leaving him. It was so quick and spontaneous that even the vet didn't realize for a moment, but gave a tender smile in return. A few hours back, they were both strangers to each other but now they were close enough. The horse's thankful gesture was the best feeling that the vet ever had. He was proud of himself, and he was now ready to bid him a goodbye. After all that the horse had been through the past few days, Ovidio came as his savior, and the horse didn't miss a chance to think.